Hi everyone, so we are going to have a look today at how to plan, structure and answer an 8 mark exam question for AS Social Psychology. Okay, the question that I've chosen is um, one about prejudice. So the question is, evaluate social identity theory as an explanation of prejudice. And this question is worth 8 marks. And just for reference um, and looking at your notes, it's page 40 and 41 in the AS textbook, which covers the social identity theory. Now, as a question, eight marks, it's obviously saying, um, asking you to evaluate, sorry, in the exam question itself. However, this question is not just purely evaluation. It's a bit of AL1 description and some AL3 evaluation, okay? So we're looking at four marks for description and four marks for evaluation. Now, before you answer any eight mark or extended um, answer question, it's always worth doing a little plan. Even if it takes you two minutes in the exam to, to do a quick plan, it will help you greatly, okay? And jog your memory and give your answer some sort of a structure. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a look quickly at the description, the kind of things you should include in your answer, and then we'll have a look at some evaluation points, and then looking at how we put the essay together itself. Okay, so we're going to start off with the description. So the kind of things that um, you should be thinking about writing in this exam question are, um, firstly, what is social identity theory? So... We need to really start off by talking about the in-group and out-group behaviour because the whole, um, the whole principle of social identity theory is that putting people into groups leads to prejudice. So really your opening um, paragraph really needs to be about um, how putting people into groups leads to prejudice. So we have in-group is the group that you obviously are a member of and then the out-group is the other group. Secondly, we need to start looking at the three stages of social identity theory and describing those for AI1. So social categorization. So this is the first stage within uh, social identity theory. And in this stage, uh, we group ourselves as be belonging to either the in-group or the out-group. And we almost uh, refer to ourselves as them and us. OK, and again, it's it's quite, it's a good idea to give some examples. For example, I always use the example of football fans, you know. Um, so, for example, Manchester United versus uh, Manchester City. So you're either a Manchester City fan or a Manchester United fan. So you sort of catching categorizing yourself as one of the football team supporters. And it's always a good idea to give examples, real life examples when you're describing in psychology as well. Okay, so you describe obviously what happens in that stage and give an example. Secondly, is social identification. So within this stage, uh, the individual almost adopts the beliefs, the values and the attitudes of the group in which they uh, belong to. So, for example, if you are a Manchester United supporter, we would expect your identity to be... Um, to be things like uh, going to the matches, uh, wearing the Manchester United football shirt, uh, wearing a scarf, etc. So again, you're establishing your um, identity, your beliefs and your values and the behaviour of your in-group. Okay. And then finally, you've got your social comparison stage. So in this group, uh, the individual aims to boost their own self-esteem by making a comparison between their in-group and the other out-group. Okay, So self-esteem is obviously the value attached to your self-concept. So a high self-esteem means that you feel good about yourself. Okay, And generally, um, we set out to improve or boost our own self-esteem. And by comparing our own group with the other group, we start to sometimes behave in a way that we don't normally behave. So we almost adopting the group's norms and um, can become very prejudiced or 
you know, can show some discrimination and conflict towards the other group. Okay, so again, you can use the example of the football fans. Sometimes rivalry can lead to conflict at football matches. Okay, so your description of social identity for four marks should include those sort of four key points there. Okay, now going on to the evaluation quickly is the A or three evaluation. So your evaluation of a theory must include some research and evidence and support from other studies. <clears throat> so for example, evidence from other studies may include Taj Fowl's minimal group study and Sharif's robber's cave experiment. Now the Taj Fowl group study was the one where the boys had to allocate award points to a member of uh, the other group and a member of their own group. Now, you may need to go over that study again. It's in the textbook. So have a look through that study. Just remind yourself. Um, again, you need to explain how that study shows support for social identity theory. Okay, The fact that the groups gave more points to their own group, again, does show evidence. And again, a key study is Sharif's study, Robbers Cave Experiment, where the two groups of boys were set up in a summer camp and um, they set the researchers set up tasks between the two groups and competitions and ultimately the competitions led to conflict and prejudice and fights breaking out between the two groups of boys so again this study demonstrates that in real life actually yeah putting people into groups can lead to prejudice so again providing evidence uh, you could also talk about application of this theory and how it can be uh, applied to real life. Again, that's quite important in psychology. So we can obviously um, use this study to help us to, you know, think of ways in which prejudice can be reduced, okay, in society. So that's application. You can also refer to alternative theories and explanations, okay. So... What we're basically trying to discuss here, is this the only theory to explain why somebody might be prejudiced? Well, we know it is not the only theory, okay? Because realistic conflict theory suggests alternative reasons, such as competition might lead to prejudice, okay? Also, individual differences in prejudice, um, such as um, personality. So, for example, Adorno... Um, carried out some research on the authoritarian personality so again you know there are many different factors that can lead to prejudice and not just grouping so again in your evaluation you're almost providing support but then also we're trying to find uh, flaws and drawbacks in the theory as well uh, by comparing it to other theories so Looking at the plan, okay, that's how we would plan an eight mark question or any really, any extended mark question, okay, in the exam. So have a go at planning and really that's your essay there in bullet point form, but you've just got to write it up, okay. Thanks, have a go.